Hello everyone. I would like to share this warning with you from the Holy Spirit of God and it was also part of it I was taking in a vision. The Holy Spirit of God spoke to me and he was warning me. He said Israel is about to make a move against Iran to stop Iran from weapons of mass destruction. Israel has fear that they must move fast against Iran to stop them from gaining con that missile, that weapon of mass destruction nuclear power and Israel is going to move against Iran with Saudi Arabia. The Holy Spirit said keep your eyes on Saudi Arabia. Saudi will join forces with Israel to move against Iran. He said collapse is coming to Saudi Arabia. They must move fast. Iran the Prince of Persia will move against Israel and the United States of America. The Holy Spirit of God warns you, America, your borders are not safe. I saw in a vision the power grids will fail when we are attacked by our enemies. Our enemies will bring down America and our life will change. I saw this in a vision, church. I saw a solar flare that shut down all power. The solar flare that I saw, even though I thought it was coming from the sun, the Holy Spirit was showing me that it was created by man. I don't know how man's going to create some kind of flare, solar flare. But I stood there in that vision, and I saw it hitting America and hitting Israel, and it knocked out all power. And I saw America in darkness, and fear gripped America. Our government, our hospitals, computers, phones, everything was out of power, leaving America weakened for the enemies of America and Israel to move in. I stood there in this vision, and I saw Israel and America there in darkness, the power outage. It was a time of worse trouble, chaos. I saw people running, riding, stealing food, stealing water. And in a moment, there was no more food left. There was no more water left. In a moment, lives were changed, turned upside down by one solar attack created by man, technology. I saw our government in this vision moving underground into bunkers. It happened so fast. And we saw armies moving through our streets, and we were afraid. We couldn't tell if they were our armies or another nation's. I saw in this vision New York collapse. The tall buildings were under attack from air and land. I saw Washington under attack, and the enemy was moving fast. I saw France, England, Israel in America under attack and they were moving fast against these nations to war and that vision was over and I told the Holy Spirit of God I pray that I am not here to see that day that darkness that will be in the land of America and in Israel making us weak and vulnerable to our enemies, to move into our nation. Our borders are weak, America. In 2011, the Holy Spirit of God warned you that your enemy is moving weapons of mass destruction into America, underground tunnels. When will America wake up and keep our borders safe from all enemies? Because when you do wake up, it's going to be too late. The Holy Spirit said they don't have to come over here to attack you. They are living among us. And America is going to be attacked. I've seen it in visions, in dreams, warnings from the Holy Spirit of God. May God bless America. May God bless Israel. Church, we are definitely living in the signs of the times. 
and we are seeing the signs that are before our face. And we know what is coming. The Holy Spirit of God has been warning since 2011. And it will move fast. We are seeing the technology and the things that the Holy Spirit warned of. We are seeing it today moving fast and it will continue to move fast. Keep your eyes on the weather. The Holy Spirit of God says, watch the weather. It will grow worse. You thought it was bad now? You've not seen nothing yet. The Holy Spirit said the weather will change, and we'll see the change to the weather even in the desert places in the Middle East. Weather, storms, tornadoes, volcanoes, church. This is no accident. All these things are taking place. These are the signs of the times moving us fast to what is coming. The greatest deception of the whole world. That God has come down from the heavens. The deceivers come in first, church. I've warned you in enough of videos. Let no man deceive you. There's going to be many coming on this earth saying, Christ is here. Christ is there. Don't go, church. When our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ ascends from the heavens, when he comes down, when he is descending, the whole world will see him. The whole world will see our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ returning. And I don't know about you, church, but when Jesus is coming down from heaven, I'm going to be with him. I'm going to be in his army. Amen. May God go with each and every one of you. And if you don't know Jesus, if you've not repented of your sins, today is the day of salvation. Repent. Ask God to forgive you of all your sins and to cleanse you from all your sins and unrighteousness. And he will. You are washed in the blood of Jesus. Accept Jesus today as your Lord and your Savior. Believe in him. Trust in him. That 2,000 years ago he came into the world to die for you. And to wash you in his blood. And that he was crucified and the third day he rose from the grave. And he sits on the right hand of our Father. Believe in him. And if you have repented, then I rejoice with all the angels in heaven over one sinner that repents. Today is the day of salvation. Make Jesus your Lord and your Savior. Receive him into your heart and know that when the day comes, that you'll know that you're saved and you will hear his voice calling you home. Amen. The day we'll hear our Savior calling us home. What a day that'll be. Church, be ready. It's all moving fast. The signs are before us. And we are definitely watching for the signs. God bless you, church. I don't know about you, but I'm excited. When I start seeing the signs and the trees are budding and I don't know the day summer is coming, but I know it's coming just like I see the signs of my Lord and my Savior. I might not know the day and the hour, but I know it's coming. Amen, church. I rejoice. To see my Lord and my Savior. I rejoice to hear the sound of the trumpet calling me home. Woo! Calling his little sheep. Calling his children. Calling us home for the glorious day of the Lord's Supper. Because there's going to be the Lord's Supper, church. And we're going to all sit at the table. And before we take of the Lord's Supper. We will thank our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for the sacrifice that he made 2,000 years ago on Calvary's cross for you and I for making that day possible for you and I. Amen, 
church. Woo, glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord and my Savior. Because of you, we live. Because of you, we have everlasting life. We are in the army of the Lord, church, and the saints will go marching in. I'll see you in the city where the Lamb is the light. Woo, what a day that will be. God bless you, church. God bless you. Let us stand together and see the signs and the wonders of our God. For we're about to see an outpouring of the Spirit of God like no other time in history. For God is preparing His army, preparing His children for the journey home. Woo! Ha <laughs> I'm ready. I'm ready, Lord. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'll see you there, church. I will indeed meet you all there. God bless you.